It's time for spelling analysis. And we are on list 30, the final list of level B. Great work. And today we have some very interesting and very big words. So let's get started. The first word is panic. She tried not to panic when the mouse ran across the room. Panic. Go ahead and say panic. How many syllables? Hmm, hmm. Two. We will say to spell pan ick. What will we say to spell? Pan ick. Let's sound it out. The first syllable is pan. P a n. The second syllable is ick. I, use an ick, I, E, Y, K, use a K, S. Go ahead and write pan ick, sounding it out as you write it. And help me to write it, sound it out as I write it. The first syllable is pan, P, A, N. The second syllable is ick, ick. Let's read it, P, A, N, ick, panic. The next word is contagious. The virus is highly contagious. Go ahead and say contagious. How many syllables? Hmm, hmm, hmm. Three. We will say to spell con te just. What will we say to spell? Con te just. Let's sound it out. The first syllable is con. K. Use a k. S. A n. Te. T. A. Just. J. And you'll use this new advanced phonogram, uh, use an ow, o, oh, oo, uh, uh, s. Go ahead and write con, te, jus. And help me to write it con, k, a, n, te, t, a, jus. J, a, uh, s. And how will we mark it? We'll put a line over the A, and why did it say it's long sound? A, E, O, U usually say they're long sounds at the end of the syllable. And we'll underline the advanced phonogram, J. Notice, with this advanced phonogram, the I is saying, helping the G say J. G may soften to J before an E, I, or Y. Otherwise, G says G. And this advanced phonogram has an I there to soften the G to J, However, it's not a vowel. It's part of the advanced phonogram. We'll underline the uh, and what sound of ow, o, u, uh, uh do we hear in contagious? It's the fourth sound. Excellent. Let's read it. K, a, n, t, a, j, us. Contagious. And so we know something too that something that ends in us means full of. And con means with or together. And I think that both of those have some insight into the meaning of something that's contagious. That together, something that's full of something is contagious. You could catch it. All right. And actually, this root tag means to touch. So it's something we pass on easily through touching. The next word is prepare. We will need to prepare for the exam. Prepare. Go ahead and say prepare. How many syllables? Hmm, hmm. Two. We will say to spell prepare. What will we say to spell? Prepare. Let's sound it out. The first syllable is pre, p, er, e. The second syllable is pair, p, a, er. Silent final e. Go ahead and write prepare, sounding it out as you write it. And help me to write it. Pre, p, er, e, pair, p, a, er, silent final e. How will we mark it? We'll put a line over the e. Why did it say it's long sound? A, e, o, u usually say they're long sounds at the end of the syllable. And why do we have a silent e in prepare? The vowel said it's long sound because of the e. Very good. Let's read it. P, er, e, p, a er prepare. The next word is community. We live in a very uh, interconnected community. Go ahead and say community. How many syllables in community? Hmm, 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 hmm. Four. We will say to spell com mu ne t. What will we say to spell? Com mu ne t. 
Let's sound it out. Calm. K. Use a k. S. A. M. Mu. M. U. N. N. I. Use an I. I. E. Y. T. T. E. That's right. It's a Y. I. I. E. Go ahead and write calm. Mu. N. T. Sounding it out as you write it. That is the key. Calm, mu, ne, t. Help me to write it. Calm, k, a, m, mu, m, u, ne, n, e, t, t, e. And how will we mark it? We'll put a line over the u. Why did it say it's long sound? A, e, o, u usually say they're long sounds at the end of the syllable. Why did the i say it then? I and Y may say I or I at the end of the syllable. And here is the Y saying it's E sound. Y usually says E at the end of a multi-syllable word in an unstressed syllable. So there it is. Let's read it. K A M M U N I T E community. The next word is international. The international flights leave from the other terminal. International. Go ahead and say international. How many syllables? Hmm, 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 hmm. Five. That's right. Let's go ahead and say to spell international. What will we say to spell? International. All. We'll say all there. Got it? Inter. Na, shan, all. All right, let's try it. In, i, use an i, i, e, ya, n, ter, t, er, the er of her, na, n, a, shan, sh, use a tall sh, a, n, all, a, that's an a, 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 o. Go ahead and write in, ter, na, shan, all. In, ter, na, na, shan, all. <laughs> all right, help me to write it. First syllable is in. I, n, ter, t, er, na, n, a, shan, sh, a, n, all. A, o. All right, how will we mark this? Well, underline the er. Now, what do you notice here? International. You can hear it saying national. In fact, it's stressed. And it's saying it's short sound. That is very unusual, isn't it? And then, we'll underline the sh. And what sound of um, the at a a do you hear in international? You hear a schwa sound, but we'll uh, say to spell the broad sound, international, because it's before an L. Now, what base word do you see for international? It's nation. Do you see that? The word nation is the base word. And you can even see that with the word nation, the vowel says it's long sound at the end of the syllable. But when the syllable stress changed because we added intern, which means between nations, uh, the syllable stresses changed and it became international. Again, an exception to that spelling rule, and very unusual, but we can see in the meaning how that happened. Let's read it. I, n, t, er, n, a, sh, a, n, a, o. International. Outstanding. The next word is elementary. The elementary school is down the street. Elementary. How many syllables in elementary? Hmm, 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 hmm. Five again. All right, we will say to spell L E men T R E. Let's say it together. L E men T R E. One more time. L E men T R E. Let's sound it out. L E O men. M, E, N, T, T, A, 
re, er, e. That's a ya, i, i, e. Go ahead and write l, e, men, te, re. And help me to write it. L, L, E, men, m, a, n, t, t, a, re, er, e. And how will we mark it? <laughs> we'll put a line over the E and the A. And why did they say they're long sounds? A, E, O, U usually say they're long sounds at the end of the syllable. We'll put a four over the Y. It's saying it's E sound in an unstressed syllable at the end of a multi-syllable word. And we have a few schwas. When we have a multi-syllable word, we're going to have some syllables that are unstressed and we say unclearly as a uh or ill. So let's um, read it together. E, O, E, M, E, N, T, A, R, R, E, Elementary. Excellent. The next word is compassion. He felt compassion for them in their distress. Compassion. Go ahead and say compassion. How many syllables? Hmm, hmm, hmm. Three. We will say the spell com pass Sean. What will we say to spell? Calm, pass, Sean. Let's sound it out. The first syllable is calm. K, use a k, s, a, m, pass, p, a, s, Sean. Sh, use a sh, z, a, n. Go ahead and write calm, pass, Sean. Calm, pass, Sean. And help me to write it. The first syllable is calm. K, a, m, pass, p, a, s, shan, sh, a, n. And how will we mark it? We'll underline the sh. Let's read it. K, a, m, p, a, s, sh, a, n, compassion. Excellent. The next word is legacy. He left quite a legacy behind. Legacy. Go ahead and say legacy. How many syllables in legacy? Hmm, hmm, hmm. Three. We will say to spell leg a c. What will we say to spell? Leg a c. Let's sound it out. The first syllable is leg. U e g. A a c. S. Use a k s e. That's right. It's a y e i e. Go ahead and write leg a c. And now help me to write it by sounding out leg u e g a a c s e. And how will we mark it? We'll put a line over the a. It said it's long sound y. A e o u usually say they're long sounds at the end of the syllable. And why is the c softening to s? C always softens to s before an e, i, or y. And what sound is the y saying? It's saying it's e sound at the end of a multi-syllable word in an unstressed syllable. Let's read it. U, e, g, a, s, e, legacy. The next word is prevent. We will need to try to prevent that from happening. Prevent. Say prevent. How many syllables? Hmm, hmm. We will say to spell Prevent. What will we say to spell? Prevent. Let's sound it out. The first syllable is pre. P -er -e vent. V -e -n -t. Go ahead and write prevent. And help me to write it. The first syllable is pre. P -er -e. The second syllable is vent. V -e -n -t. And how will we mark it? We'll put a line over the E. Let's read it. P -er -e prevent. So the question, the prefix pre means what? It means before. So if you prevent something, you are doing it before it happens. Do you see another word in this list that uses the prefix pre? That's right, it's prepare. And if you prepare, you do this work before the actual event. You prepare before. 
It's great to see how uh, morphemes like prefixes can help us know a little bit about the meaning of those words. The next word is related to prevent, it's prevention. All of the employees will need to take a prevention training. Prevention. How many syllables in prevention? Hmm, hmm, hmm. Three. We will say to spell pre-ven-shon. What will we say to spell? Pre-ven-shon. Let's sound it out. The first syllable is pre, p, er, e, ven, v, e, n, shon, sh. What form of sh do you think will you use? That's right, we'll use a tall sh and we'll talk about it later. Ah, n. Go ahead and write pre, ven, shon. Pre, ven, shon. Help me to sound it out. The first syllable is pre. Er, e. The second syllable is ven. V, e, n. And the third syllable is shon. Sh, ah, n. And how do we mark it? We'll put a line over the e. Why did it say it's long sound? A, e, o, u. Usually say their long sounds at the end of the syllable. And we'll underline the sh. Now, how did you know that we would use tall sh? You're right. Prevent ends in a t. And we added the ending ion, and that then formed the new phonogram tall sh prevention. Excellent. Let's read it. P er e v e n sh a n prevention. The next word is furious. Abigail was furious at the bullies. Furious. Go ahead and say furious. How many syllables in furious? Hmm, hmm, hmm. Three. We will say to spell um, furious. Now we're exaggerating it to make it really clear. Furious. Let's say it together. F U R E. Er, e. This is an I I E Y. Us. A. Uh, use an O O U A A. S. Go ahead and write few. Re us. Few re us. And help me to write it. Few you re er e us. Us. And how will we mark it? We'll put a line over the U. And why did it say it's long sound? A E O U usually say they're long sounds at the end of the syllable. And what is the I, I, E, Y saying. It's saying it's E sound. Why? Well, I may say it's E sound any place it may say it's long I sound. So at the end of the syllable with a silent final E, and there it is at the end of the syllable. And then we'll underline the uh, and what sound of ow, o, u, uh, uh is this? The fourth. And let's read it. U, er, e, uh, s, furious. Now, I have a question for you. What is the root word of furious? It's fury, spelled like this, fury. What happened? How did we make the word furious out of fury? Fury means anger, intense anger. Well, we added the ending us, which means full of. And so we changed the Y to I when adding any ending unless the ending begins with I. And here it begins with an O, so we could change the Y to I to make furious. Excellent. The next word is accomplish. What would you like to accomplish this semester? Accomplish. Go ahead and say accomplish. How many syllables? Hmm, hmm, hmm. Three. We will say to spell ac com plish. What will we say to spell? Ac com plish. Let's sound it out. The first syllable is ac. Ac, k, use a k, s. Com, k, use a k, s. A, m, plish, p, l, i, sh. Do you remember what kind of sh you use here at the end of the word? Very good. Go ahead and write it.
And let's write it together. Ak, ak, com, k, a, m, plish, p, o, i, sh. And how will we mark it? We'll underline the sh. Let's read it. Ak, k, a, m, p, o, i, sh, accomplish. Excellent. The next word is lecture. The lecture in biology class today was fascinating. Lecture. Say lecture. How many syllables? Hmm, hmm. Two. We will say to spell lecture. What's happening in this word? Lecture, lecture. You're right, we have assimilation. So what will we say to spell? Lecture. Let's sound it out. L e k. Use a k. Tewer. T u er. Silent final e. Go ahead and write lek tewer. And help me to write it. Lek u e k tewer. T u er. Silent final e. How do we mark it? We'll put a line over the u and double underline the e. The vowel said its long sound because of the e. Let's read it. Lectuer, lectuer. And if you say that faster and faster, lectuer, lectuer, you'll see that it assimilates to lecture, the ch er sound. Excellent. So we have lecture. The next word is original. That is a very original idea. Original. Go ahead and say original. How many syllables? Hmm, 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 hmm. Four. We will say to spell O ridge e null. What will we say to spell? O ridge e null. Let's sound it out. O. O ridge er e. Use an e i e y. J. Use a g j. E. E. Use an e i e y. Null. N a a a a o. Go ahead and write o ridge e null. Sorry, o ridge in all. O ridge in all. And help me to write it. First of all, is o o ridge er e j in e n all. Excellent. How will we mark it? Put a line over the O. Why did it say it's long sound? A, E, O, U usually say their long sounds at the end of the syllable. Why did the G soften to J? G may soften to J before an E, I, or Y. Otherwise, G says G. And here, the A is saying its broad sound, A, before an L. Let's read it. O, R, E, J, E, N, A, O, original. And notice, here we have the word origin, and we added the suffix all, so original. The last word is finally. We are finally to the last word of the Essentials Level B spelling analysis list. Finally. Go ahead and say finally. How many syllables in finally? Hmm, hmm, hmm. Three. We will say to spell phi now Lee. What will we say to spell? Phi now Lee. Let's sound it out. The first syllable is phi. F I use an I I E Y. Now N A O Lee O E. That's right. It's a Y I I E. Go ahead and write Phi now Lee. And help me to write it. The first syllable is phi. I, now, n, a, o, li, o, e. And how do we mark it? We'll put a line over the i. Why did it say it's long sound? I and y may say i or i at the end of the syllable. And we'll put a four over the ya, i, i, e, which is saying it's e sound at the end of a multi-syllable word in an unstressed syllable. Let's read it. I, n, a, o, o, e, finally. Excellent. 
Great work. I hope that learning the phonograms and spelling rules has helped you to learn how to understand why any word is spelled this way. You can apply these tools to explain other words that we've not studied, and you can help yourself to learn how to read and spell even more words using these tools. Combining the science of reading with the joy of learning. Learn more at essentials.logicofenglish.com.